Hello, it's Pastor Keith. I'm tr oof, something is in the air. Kind of sneezy sounding. All right, if I sneeze, I'm going to, yeah, never mind. This is Wednesday, January 18th. And if you haven't watched before, I'm Pastor Keith. And I am the pastor at Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town in the center of the island of Oahu in uh, the archipelago. I think it's an archipelago of Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands. It's the state of Hawaii. And we are in a state of Hawaii. Yes. Okay. Um, this is also, I'm looking at my little note, the Confession of Peter. I think it's commemoration of St. Peter. Uh, Peter means rock in Greek, uh, Petros, and Cephas in, I believe it's Aramaic, uh, is rock. And so he was called Cephas in Aramaic, the uh, spoken language of Jesus' day in Palestine. And then um, uh, the Greek was Petros. He was considered and still is considered the first pope, the chief apostle, the leader of the Gang of Twelve. Uh, full of, oh, there is a hair, right? Okay, full of... Yeah, he was just full of it sometimes. And uh, other times he had it all together. So you go figure it out and let me know. All right, I'm going to stop talking before I get myself into too much more trouble. It's, uh, uh, I enjoy doing this. So let's, let's read Matthew 16, starting at verse 13. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. So, all of that drama about who do you say that I am, and all this thing about the rock, the church, the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And don't, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Nope. It's called the Messianic Secret. And it's real evident in um, Mark here in Matthew, a little bit in Luke, not at all in John. Uh, but it is uh, Jesus saying, don't tell anyone I am the anointed one, the king, the Messiah. Not yet. Don't do it yet. They'll see it when I'm on the cross. And Peter, who went to Rome, preached the gospel according to the tradition and was crucified there for being a follower of Jesus, but was crucified upside down. Because he said, I don't deserve to be crucified as Jesus was. Okay. A poule, cacao. Let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired Simon Peter to confess Jesus as the Messiah and Son of the living God. Keep your church firm on the rock of this faith, so that in unity and peace, it may proclaim one truth and follow one Lord, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
And now, may the God who built the church upon his rock, St. Peter himself, who confessed Jesus as Messiah, may that God order your days and your deeds in divine peace. In the name of the Creator, and the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. Amen.